Hello, this is Tristan Schmidt. Um, this is the submission for the Lab 1B for the additive modeling. Um, and so I just named my files just chair redo and hammer redo. Um, I don't really know what you're supposed to name them, but it's the additive modeling lab. So um, pr pretty much just have the same or similar models. And I just did some uh, additive things on what we went over. Um, for the most recent lessons on those tools in Maya. So start with the hammer and <clears throat> This is what I came out with definitely a lot more a lot more going on than the uh, first hammer um, And thanks to what we've gone over. Um, I definitely learned a lot of things where uh, If I would have known it for for example when I was making my uh, my sword then it would have made it a lot easier for like the mirroring and the symmetry and all that stuff. So really useful to be able to learn that here. Um, and I'll probably go back and remodel that sword model later on. But for now, here's that hammer. Um, it's, I kind of liked making this kind of star pattern on the side here, uh, a lot more geometry going on with the handle, kind of it's wider as it goes up and then uses there. And yeah, that turned out pretty good. Um, and so we'll go on to the chair. And then here's the chair. Um, and yeah, still some of the same things here using uh, extrude. Um, so there's there's a lot less um, polygons being used than say in my first chair, because everything was kind of its own separate piece that I, I just kind of, you know, uh, connected. So this was kind of nice to learn how to extrude it out and then you know pull each edge out, have it mirror to the other side so I don't have to kind of eyeball it and yeah and so this turned out pretty good um, and yeah a bit different than from my other chair the other chair is kind of like a lawn chair this is like a classic wooden chair kind of look um, and yeah I thought that turned out pretty good too so yeah and I'm looking forward to doing the same things with the challenge um, hoping I can up apply that again to the sword model but yeah so that'll do it for now and I'll see you when we do that